Two. Four. Good. Four. Right. Right. Good boy. One, two. Four. Jab. 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 Right. Well, good. Hey, come on. Come on, then. One, two. Come on, boy. Four. You might be wondering what is happening here. Well, Jimmy Burns is a great man of our community who has offered to help us help the people of Jaywick because there's a lot of people in Jaywick that get bullied by other communities and by other people. So I've asked Jimmy to come down here and give half an hour free boxing lessons to the people in Jaywick who are most of them need. And we have got a mighty man here in Jimmy and we're just gonna get an interview with Jimmy in a minute to ask why he's doing this and what people can get from this. This is just so good for people, and I've always wanted to teach people of Jaywick to defend themselves. And I've always wanted to teach people of Jaywick that they're worth much more than what they know that they are. So how about... Jimmy, sorry to interrupt. You're amazing, by the way. Jimmy, I'm just making a blog about offering free boxing lessons to the people of Jaywick. Just wonder if you could tell us anything more about it, because obviously we need to defend ourselves. Right, listen, Dan, yeah, you know you, I've got your back. Thank you. You know I support Jaywick. Little Ben come to me. Thank you, Ben. Little Ben here said to me, oh, can you teach me how to box? So I said, listen, there's a good boxing club, Fight Fit Systems, Yep. next to the range in Clapton. It's run by a guy called Steve Anderson. Yeah, we love Steve. He's a good fella. This boy couldn't even hold his hands up, right? A couple of weeks ago, two months ago. Now look at him. He's phenomenal. He looks like a professional. His confidence has grown. Yep. Everything about him, everything now, he's up front. Instead of standing at the back, yep. putting his head down, he's bold, he's confident. Nice. And it's all down to going to a local boxing club yep. and getting stuck in. And look at him, look how... How long has he done? How much training a week? How long has he been? About three months. And how long do you do a week? Like an hour a week or two? Three. Three hours a week, basically. Well, you look like a professional already from what I'm seeing. He's fit. Yep. He's not sitting on a computer every night because his dad don't like being on the Xbox. Excellent. The club he goes to is good. Yep. All the clubs are good. Yep. All the boxing clubs are good. But the problem is there's a lot of politics in boxing. Yep. After he's done the pads with that boy. He's amazing. And everybody's a critic. So someone will say he ain't lifting his hands up. He ain't turning his feet. He ain't this, he ain't that. But at least he's doing something. I don't claim to be the best boxing coach, Danny, yeah? Yes. It's like driving down the A12 and someone's in the back of your motor yep. saying, get in the left lane, get in the fast lane, get in the middle lane. Hurry up, slow different down. Different horses for different right, horses. In the end, you, you feel like saying, do you want me to pull over and you drive? Yeah, isn't it? Right, you know you, so much, why don't you yeah. do it? The problem is, as I said, in boxing, yep. it's too much politics. Yep. Everyone wants to be the best. I've done my ABA coach. Yep. I passed it, yeah, it was quite difficult. Yep. I'm only ABA one. But my passion's not about running a boxing club and earning money. No. Nope. My passion's about keeping the youngsters off the streets and out of trouble. Nothing to do with the money, I've got money. You're doing a fine job. I'm running a business, yeah. But when I can give up time, when I can help people, I'm here. So you said you would come to the Jaywick Sands Happy Club once a month and give us 20 minutes, whatever, half hour whatever you for need, the community? Whatever you need. Whatever we are honoured to have you. Thank you, Jimmy. I mean, this young lad, he's come a long way. And there's plenty of good fight clubs. They're all good. Karate, boxing, they all do a good job. Yep. I don't knock any one of them. Teaches I don't them discipline them. as well as yeah. being tough. Discipline, it teaches them everything. Turn yep. up. A bit of self-respect, yep. listen to people, because at the end of the day, there's a lot of fitness involved, yep. as I'm sure Steve at fight, any any boxing club would yes. say, but that's one of his mottos, is be fit, be yep. fit, be ready, yeah? Good. Me, if I have a fight, to be honest with you, I ain't, if, I ain't done, if I ain't done the business in the first 30 seconds, I'm in trouble, it's game over. Yeah. So, well, we're you glad go. we got you. And I just want to say thank you on behalf of all the J-Wit for coming down here and giving us half an hour 
Tony. No, that's fine. You're welcome. So if anyone comes to the Joe Bitsane Happy Club from now on, between six and seven o'clock, you might be lucky enough to meet the mighty Jimmy, who will give you a few tips on how to spar and how to defend yourself. And I just want to say thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Danny. But as I said, I don't claim to be the best coach. No. I could get someone to hold their hands up and throw a punch, yeah? yeah? I've had a few fighters out there in the past. I've done a few corners, not on my own. I ain't going to yeah. settle the glory. Yeah. But probably out of ten fights, I've had seven winners. Now, to me, I'm happy with that. Yeah. One of my boxers, who I told not to fight, I said, do not take this fight. Yep. He didn't take my advice. He didn't listen. He broke his hand in the first round. Yep. And he come to my corner and he went, Jimmy, I broke my hand. I broke my hand. No, I said, that's your problem. I said, you better get out there and do the other two rounds then. And he still won the fight with a broken hand. So sometimes it ain't about what the technique is. <coughs> yep. It's about what's in here whether you can take a clump or not, right? Gotcha. That's what it's all about. It's, it's horses for courses at the end of the day, but fitness is key. I will give people that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to meet this mighty man and, and get some self-defense and learn to train your heart, your mind and your soul, then the Joe Sands Happy Club is the place to be. Jimmy, with all my heart and soul, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for letting me film you. And to your mighty dad. Thank you, Ross. Morning. Shine on. Thank you, guys. One second.